Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is a week of vegan snacks. So yeah, basically last week I filmed all the treats, healthy snacks and smaller meals that I ate and I put them together in a video for you to watch. So let's begin. On Monday afternoon, I made a new batch of almond butter. For my snack, I mix together about a tablespoon of the almond butter, some hot cocoa mix, which is accidentally vegan. Most of them aren't, but this brand happens to be, which is great. A dash of cinnamon and a bit of almond milk. Combine everything, taste test and decide whether you want this to be more chocolatey or liquidy or cinnamony. I cut up a banana into slices and then dip them into the chocolate almond sauce. I didn't eat all of it though, I shared the rest with my little sister because it's, it's kind of a filling snack. Speaking of my sister, on Tuesday afternoon we made hummus and avocado toasts, which basically gives away the entire recipe. We mixed together half of a below average avocado with a bit of hummus and then put that on toast. I topped it off with a bit of this balsamic sauce, and that's it. I've had a pack of popcorn kernels sitting at home for the longest time. So Wednesday was the day I decided to make some. This is actually my second batch from that day since the first one I burned. So here's what I learned from my mistakes. Add about a third of a cup of popcorn kernels to a medium slash large sized pot. Less is more when it comes to the amount of kernels you use. Also add in a teaspoon of coconut oil. I heard you can make it without the oil, but that just didn't work out for me. Bring the pan to medium high. Do not bring the pan to the highest of temperatures. Once the kernels start popping, start shaking the pot vigorously ever so often. And then just wait until the popping sounds stop and um, then you'll be left with yummy basic popcorn. Like I said, I'm not a master at this. If you got any tips or better methods, feel free to comment them down below. I decided to make a peanut butter sauce for the topping. For this, I combined powdered peanut butter, maple syrup, and non-dairy milk. On Thursday morning, I made a green juice without using a juicer. You simply need a high-speed blender instead. To the blender, add three to four handfuls of fresh baby spinach, about a cup of frozen pineapple or frozen mango, some fresh lemon juice, and some water for the liquid. I also filmed my breakfast that day, so if you're interested, a couple tablespoons of oats, hemp seeds, desiccated coconut, and a bit of extra muesli. I also added one banana, cinnamon, and non-dairy milk. Okay, moving on to Friday. Um, that day, I was on the bus on my way to Berlin to hang out with friends for the weekend and here I am eating a donut-shaped chocolate banana bread. So basically, the day before, I did some experimenting with older baking recipes of mine. So if you want to make these treats yourself, preheat an oven to 180 degrees. Grease either a muffin tin or um, like a donut tray if you have one of those with melted vegan butter. Mash up a couple of ripe bananas using a fork, non-dairy milk, maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, melted vegan butter, instant coffee or strong coffee, but that can be omitted. This is just to make the chocolate flavor stand out more.
We only need a single bowl for this, so add all the dry ingredients. Spelt flour, baking powder, salt, Fill up the donut and muffin molds almost all the way. Then put everything into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Let it cool off before taking them out. I arrived in Berlin late afternoon and I ended up in the cutest Airbnb room I've probably ever been in. And this is just one room. I didn't end up like filming the rest of the apartment. It was so pretty. On Saturday, I went to Vegans, which is an entirely vegan grocery store. It's so cool to go to a supermarket and be like, technically, I could buy everything in here. So they have all types of wonderful things. I mean, look at the cookie section. They have guacamole in the freezer, which I've never seen before, but thinking about it, it makes kind of sense, doesn't it? Here's what I ended up taking with me. I immediately had to try out this hazelnut waffle treat thing. It's the vegan version of Hanuta, which is a well-known German hazelnut treat. It's like two waffles, and then in between it has this chocolate hazelnut spread. However, this tasted nothing like the original, and I was so disappointed. It was still okay, 6 out of 10. I also tried this chocolate oat bar thing. I really enjoyed that one. Moving on to Sunday. I went to a coffee shop to get some work done for most of the day. Um, first, I got a warm pear and cinnamon juice. Never had that before. It's just such a simple idea, but it's so good. The place I went to was called Books and Bagels or Shakespeare's Sons or Fine Bagels. They have like three names, but basically it's a book and bagel shop where you can work, read, be surrounded by bookshelves while also munching on delicious bagels. Later at night, I got curious and I decided to try out the vegan fish sticks. So I cooked them up according to instructions. Yeah, they got a bit more color on them than I wanted to, but it was fine, they were still pretty damn good. They tasted more legit than I expected, but less legit than I had hoped for, if that makes any sense. They made for a great late night snack. That concludes this week and also this video. If you enjoy my content and you're waiting to get new recipes quicker, definitely check out my ebook. There's about 60 bonus recipes in there and yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I will put the link into the description. Also, you can leave me comments down below and tell me what videos you want to see over the next few months because I'm currently planning all of them out. Thank you so, so much for being here. I will talk to you very soon. Bye! Hands in my sleep, I've choked too many.